Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Massachusetts. High above the ice, it's Tom Nappy alongside Eric Carty, John Ritz on camera, it's Hopkinton Hillers, Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. The Hillers are two and one on the season, four points overall. Bellingham also has four points, one win, one loss, and two ties. It is a TVL matchup this Saturday afternoon. The Bellingham Blackhawks come in after two seasons where they were just kind of trying to improve, and this season, allegedly, they are improved. So I'm expecting a good match here today. And Eric, when you look at the TVL, there's just so many good teams, a lot of competition. I know there always is, but this year, it feels like there's even more competition. Yeah, up and down the lineups there, and a lot of young kids on, on both teams here, and the talent is uh, really producing well with the, the younger kids. And see how Hopkins performs today. It's gonna be a bounce back after the defeat there to see how they are mentally tough and come back from that loss. The Hillers so far this season defeated East Longmeadow 10 to nothing, Ashland 5 to two, and this past Thursday lost to Medfield in an away game, six to three. As for Bellingham, they tied Minuteman two to two. They lost to Dover Sherborne four to one, beat Seekonk four to nothing, and tied Norton one to one. As we get ready for action here at the New England Sports Center, we're gonna send it down to the ice. Maybe there'll be some PA and introductions, we'll see. There wasn't last time, but maybe today a different story. So let's send it down to ice level right now. And as we await for the introductions, which we don't know if there will be any, let's take you through the TVL standings. Dedham is the last team that is fully undefeated. 3-0-0 is their record. Hopkinton 2-1-0. Westwood 2-0-1. Medfield 2-0-1. Ashland 2-1-1. Dover Sherborne 2-1-0. Bellingham 1-1-2. Holliston 0-2-1. Norwood 0-2-0. Norton 03 and 1 and Medway 04 and 0 and I believe we will have a national anthem so let's send it down to ice level right now.
And we are ready for action here at the New England Sports Center. We'll take you through the starters just in case you missed it. On defense for the Bellingham Blackhawks, number five, Kyle Robitaille. Number 16, Brennan McCann. Center is number 11, Jace Rudolph. Left wing, number 13, Matt Pelletier. Number 14, right wing, Ethan Larkin. And the goalie is number 34, Cameron LaHue. For the Hopkinton Hillers, on defense, number six, Andrew Gilbert. Number nine, Cam Jarrett. The center, number 11, Sean Walsh. The left winger, number 15, Steve Simos. The right winger, number 19, Tommy Hamlet. And the goalie today is Ray Bailey, the junior getting his first start in net of the season for the Hillers. Well, Eric, it's uh, rebound time, I think, for Hopkinton. And you have to expect they're going into this game today pretty angry after that midfield loss. Yeah, I think we'll see them come out uh, quick and fast here. And they're trying to come out quick and fast right here as Cameron LeHue's going to wrap that thing up. Steve Simos was trying to poke it in. Well, the face off in the Bellingham zone. Sean Walsh was a high note in that midfield game. Certainly uh, looked pretty good and, and had a nice goal. As it's trying to poke it in in front is Simos, and it's wrapped up once again by LeHue. So the Hiller is coming out firing, putting the pressure on. It's in the strong Hiller tradition uh, year after year. Uh, Hillers always seem to be great on faceoffs, especially in the offensive zone. The Hillers have had the advantage in this matchup the last couple of years. In 2017, they won both games, 8-2 and 11-2, and last year they won 7-0. But Bellingham, certainly an improved team this year. As that one is wrapped up once again by LaHue, Simos trying to poke it in. Very nice save there. Yeah, I thought that was going to be going in short side. But nice save. In 2017-2018, Bellingham finished 0-18-2. Last year it was 2-17-1, so a slight improvement there. And they're expected to improve this season. In fact, they're pretty close to uh, matching that win total for last year. And they certainly have a lot of returning players as well, as that one's wrapped up off of the stick of Walsh. Three face-offs already, Tom, and three <laughs> shots on net right off the face-offs. So. It's been a long 24 <laughs> seconds. There's Simos. Goaltender is certainly busy, and Simos trying to poke it in, wrapped up once again by LaHue. Now, Bellingham's going to have to try to do something different here. They're going to have to neutralize these forwards. They're going to get one eventually off these face-offs. I hope Cameron LaHue came ready to play today for Bellingham. He's going to get a lot of work in that, I have a feeling. Already four saves. Bellingham is expecting that their goaltender is going to be one of the stronger parts of this team. And so far, he has done well under pressure. Gilbert was trying to push it back up. He'll go into the corner. Over to the far side. And now Jarrett is going to track it down. Aid Walsh recently hopped into the game. He got a whole lot of playing time against Medfield. And he's going to be a player they heavily rely on this season. Now coming in quickly with a shot there is Kyle Rogers, and that one's wrapped up by LaHue. Good break out there for the Hillers, moving the puck up quickly, getting it across to the far side, getting a nice another shot on net. That's six shots in a minute and six seconds. This could end up being a three-hour-long game if this pace keeps up. Walsh up against Rudolph in the faceoff circle. Jammed up along the near side, trying to poke it out as Hamblet. He's up against Pelletier. Here comes Bellingham, Jace Rudolph with possession, pass up. A little miscommunication there with Ethan Larkin. Killer is able to get it back. Coming up the far side is Hamblet. Puts it around the boards. Walsh trying to track it down. Walsh was looking for Gilbert there. It was stolen away. Now up the near side, Pelletier. And out in front, that one's wrapped up by Bailey. Well, great Bailey getting the start today in net. Eric, uh, can you tell us what you know about the junior? 
Uh, no, not a lot, Tom. I, the, they've had Dylan O'Leary and Nets for almost four straight years, so you got three goalies here who will probably be vying for uh, the playing time. It seems like to me Coach McPherson likes when he has multiple goalies that he can use. Here comes Aiden Walsh, as do most coaches, I'd imagine. Jammed up along the corner, Walsh trying to poke it out. He's looking for Quinlan. Now along the corner, it's Rodgers and Schultz. Backhanded pass by Quinlan. Now Gilbert going to put it back towards Quinlan. Uh, in the left circle, there's a shot, and that will hit a defender off the stick of Ron Sheamus. Quinlan jammed up in the corner, and it's taken away. Now stolen back by the Hillers. There's a shot and a glove saved by LaHue. Aiden Walsh with the wrister, with the one-timer there. Well, the Hillers are certainly getting the shots. I think they're going to have to get a little bit more traffic in net because uh, everything that LaHue's seeing there, he's able to stop so far. Going to have to either get a couple of tips or a couple of bodies in front of him, block his view. Not a very large goaltender. Several shots on net already for the Hillers. There's another shot here, jammed up in the corner. Top of the circle, and LaHue trying to wrap that one up. It's still loose. That was Saparosius who's got a nice shot off. Now into the right circle, it's Kirk. And he was looking for Weinstock. Up behind the net now is Toko. Jeff Toko, a sophomore for the Hillers, a late addition to the roster. Toko will set it up in the high slot. Shot by Jarrett is denied. Jammed up along the corner. Weinstock there to retrieve it. He's looking for Kirk. Kirk beats up along the far side corner. Here comes Bellingham. Well, the Blackhawks having a whole lot of trouble getting it out of their zone, Eric. Yeah, they're going to have to move the puck a little bit quicker if they're going to get that out of their own end. Chase Rudolph up the near side. Rudolph followed up behind Pelletier. Jammed up along the near side boards. Rogers trying to poke it out. Actually, that was gliding rather. Back to the Bellingham zone we go. Over towards Gilbert, looking for a shot there just wide to the left. A nice tip in front by Samos. Behind the net, Walsh. And that one is knocked out of the zone by Rudolph. And we'll get the icing. It's really a lot calmer of a start than the midfield game. A whole lot of penalties in that one for both sides, especially midfield, six of the first period. Just a whole lot of craziness over at Pirelli Veterans Arena this past Thursday. Sean Walsh on the faceoff with Brad Swain. Up along the near side, Gilbert up against McCann. Now here comes Walsh, leaving it out in front. No one's there. And there's a shot by Hamlet. Bellingham able to get it out. And it's going to be wrapped up by Bailey. And yeah, Bellingham really struggling in their own end, Tom. They're just uh, the hill of speed and pressure and forcing them just to stop firing that puck out. Well, so far, uh, despite the Hillers dominating possession and having 11 shots on goal, we remain scoreless. We're about just over uh, four minutes into the first period. Out in front, here comes Gilbert. That's up, and he was looking for Rodgers there. It got away from him. He'll draw the icing call. Another Hillers news, the boys basketball team got a win in Ashland last night. The girls fell to Ashland in the girls boys double header. Boys basketball team improving to two and two on the season. Well, the girls get their first loss of the season. They're now three and one. And center ice, Seldridge, and now here comes Quinlan. Top of the circle, pass over to the left side, and a shot there denied by LaHue. That was Michael Berman on the shot for the Hillers. I think uh, we'll see uh, just about everybody get in the game today for the Hillers, and there's a wrister there by Rogers, denied by LaHue. He has certainly been busy in net so far. Sheamus with a shot out in front. Good save by LaHue. 
Coming up the near side, here's Adams. He goes around Sheamus. Trying to work into the Hiller zone, but there to intercept is Berman. Nice check. A good check there by Pelletier on Rodgers. Hit up by Sheamus. Tracked down by Brendan McCann. Puts it over to the near side of Pelletier. Here comes Pelletier up the far side. Hiller is certainly controlling the possession so far. There's a shot from the left side. It was denied by a defenseman, Luke Leiden, on that one. Leiden knocks it up into the air after he collides with Pelletier. Out in the left circle, Larkin able to chase it down, and now it's stolen away by Toko. Toko around the net. He was trying to sneak it in there, but he was denied by McCann. And here's Weinstock. Puts it towards Glyden. And a soft shot there denied by Robotil. Here comes Bellingham up the near side, Rudolph. Glyden turns it away. Now into the corner it goes. Good hit there by Kirk. Backhander, and that's denied by Bailey. Here comes Weinstock. For a change here. Hiller's going to have a line change. Simos back into the game with his line. The starters for the Hillers out there. Along the corner, that's Hamblet. Put off the boards by Todd. Top of the right circle, there's a wrister by Jarrett, and it's denied. And that one was knocked up in the air looking for Hamblet from the stick of Gilbert. Tracked down by Walsh. Along the near side corner. Walsh having a tough time digging it out of there. And there he comes, good stick work as usual. Top of the circle and the shot there is just wide to the left out in front. There's Gilbert once again with that last shot. Hiller is putting the pressure on but Bellingham is holding up. Good net play by LaHue. This is one of those games where you get the feeling Hopkins dominating, but then all of a sudden you get a break going the other way. Got to be careful. Well, the only uh, numbers that matter are the ones on the scoreboard, right? Yep. 7.15 left to go. The Hillers going to have another line change. We're watching the shot clock, too. The Hillers have uh, about six more shots on what's up there right now. <laughs> 12 to 1, according to the scoreboard, with shots on goal. Along the near side, Sheamus. And back of the net is McCann. And in the left circle, looking for a shot there was Quinlan. It seems like Bellingham, uh, they're just pretty much sticking everybody in front of the net, <laughs> trying to deny anything the Hillers throw at them. But they're not being very aggressive at getting the puck out of their zone. Backhanded pass by Rogers. And along the corner, that's Walsh. Rogers with the backhander, and the puck's still loose. Now the net came out, and that'll draw the whistle. Yeah, the Hill is a really good puck movement on there. Trying to set that guy up behind the net. Trying to draw Bellingham in and look to get out front. The way that he was playing, it's going to take either a, uh, a rebound or a really good passing play to, to get it by him so far. Certainly a strong start by the Hillers, but we remain scoreless with 6.36 left in the first period. Dan Kirk up against Jace Rudolph. Behind the net, Robitel. Up against Weinstock. Now along the corner there is Toko. Jeff Toko, the sophomore, began a whole lot of playing time as of late. And now it's taken away by Pelletier. Back to the Hiller zone it goes. Hopkinton's been very quick to clear it out. Toko's gonna backhand that one, and that is out of play. There's a souvenir for somebody. 6.08 left to go as Bellingham will have a line change. Good clean play so far too, penalty free and a couple of good clean body checks out there. This is the exact opposite play of the Killers Medfield game the other night. There's been some games like that with Bellingham in the past. I think the, the players on both those teams who knew each other are a little bit distance away now. Certainly a calming start to this one. 
We'll see if it picks up in intensity. Hiller's going to try to pick it up right here. Here comes Walsh into the right circle of Rister. It's denied. Good save by LaHue. Now along the far side, that's Simos. Simos was trying to put it around the boards. Now Hamlet tracking it down. Now to Walsh. Walsh going to turn it around here with the Rister, and that is just wide to the right. Along the corner, it's Simos. And there's another shot. Backhander, and that's denied. I got to say, great goaltending by LaHue so far. He, he is all over the place. And he has been busy. At some point, you got to expect he's going to get a little tired. With all these shots, the Hillers are getting on him. Here comes Saperoshitz. Finds Glyden on the far side. Nice play here comes by Walsh. Simos. Walsh looking for a shot here. That's denied by LaHue. Simos up along the corner. Hamblet over to Gilbert. And there's Arissa wide to the right. Tripped up, but is Jarrett along the near side. I guess the ice is slippery a little bit, Eric. At least it's not like <laughs> wet like it was a couple games ago. We'll see when the, the delay. See when the Zamboni comes out. Simos along the near side. Tracked down by Robotil. There's Gilbert looking for shot. Turned away by a defenseman. Now top of the circle. Jarrett with Arissa and that ends up going off of uh, Hamblet. Hamlet looking for Walsh in the slot. Fortunately, that wasn't a hard shot by Jarrett that hit Hamlet. Right that off the head. That could have been devastating. Here comes Jarrett now. And that's poked off the boards by Robotail. Gilbert tracks it down. And we'll put it back to the Bellingham end, but that'll draw the whistle. And for the, the hill is now, Tom, the key for them is just to be patient. Uh, not get frustrated with the way LaHue's playing. Just keep doing what they're doing. They get those pucks in front, get a couple of rebounds. Eventually, they're going to get one in. But uh, just don't get frustrated and try to do too much to try to get one by them. Rogers up against Brad Swain. It's tracked down by Schultz. And now, here comes Rogers. He's trying to look for Walsh. Pass just a little bit in the feet. Now McCann coming up quickly. There's a shot, and that's turned away by Bailey, and out of play goes. Went off the rail. Well, the Hillers over the holiday break will be competing in the Metro West Daily News Tournament. We'll start off against Marlboro on Wednesday, and then on Saturday, an opponent and time to be determined. Defending champions. That's right. That should be a fun tournament as usual. Rogers along the corner. On the far side, it's Sheamus. And Walsh trying to dig it out of there. Glyden chases it down along the near side corner. Hillers have been quick so far to get it out of their zone. We're going to have another whistle here. I don't know what goes on at this rink, Tom. A lot of pucks seem to bounce out of here. It is pretty Very short easily. class. <laughs> yeah. I'm just waiting for one to bounce and uh, come up towards us. It's only a matter of time. Especially since I probably just jinxed it. 3.28 left to go in the first period. We remain scoreless between Hopkinton and Bellingham. Pillars have put all the pressure on so far. Along the far side, here's Kirk. And he's jammed up with Schultz. Weinstock chases it down along the corner. Puts back towards Kirk. Kirk going to put it out to Jarrett. There's a wrister. And that's denied by a defenseman out in front. And turned away by Bellinger. Yeah, Bellingham's going to be a lot more aggressive than this if they want to uh, keep popping it off the scoreboard. I mean, they're playing pretty good defense and great net, uh, great goaltending. But they're almost like playing a zone. They're just what, keep trying to keep Hopkins into the outside, not really pressuring him. Right. Try to keep him at bay. Toko and Gilbert along the far side. And now here comes Kirk. Approaching quickly there was Toko. Was turned away. Rudolph along the far side for Bellingham. And now here's Kirk. And Kirk is pushed away from the puck. Nice defensive play by Adams. Along the near side is Todd. Killers with another change. 222 and counting left to go. Nice poke check there by Luke Glidden. And here comes Walsh, quickly approaching on the far side. And there's a shot, and that is turned away. I believe the defenseman got in front of that one. There's another shot by Simos. 
That's turned away by LaHue. Caught the defenseman up high. It's now 20 shots for the Hillers on net. Well, the goaltending percentage for LaHue is probably going to go up after this game. This keeps up. Walsh jammed up along with Rudolph. And now Hillers quickly approaching out in front. Simos is trying to, or excuse me, that was Hamlet trying to get the shot off there. Pass, back a, to, pass a little bit too much on his feet there. Ryan able to knock it back to the Bellingham zone. Now it's taken away by a Walsh. The well, Hillers have got a number of shots off, but none really open shots yet. Bellingham's doing a pretty good job at defending in front of the net. The Hillers certainly dominating possession-wise, as that one is wide to the left by Saperoshitz. There's Kirk. Now behind the net, Aiden Walsh. Stolen away by Saperoshitz. Pokes it over to Walsh. Walsh was trying to get back to Saperoshitz. Pelletier stepped in. One minute remaining in the first period. And back to the Hiller zone it goes. Under a minute to go here in the first period. Up along the far side, Glyden. Bellingham has a line change. Here comes Quinlan. Quinlan able to poke it back to Sheamus. Sheamus is going to leave it behind him. That was for Berman, but now it's briefly stolen away, but then able to step in as Rogers. Back to the Bellingham zone we go. Quinlan along the corner. And now Aiden Walsh steps in, trying to dig it out of there. A couple Blackhawks around him. And Bailey's going to wrap this one up, or just leave it, rather, for Sheamus. 15 seconds and counting left to go in the first period. Quinlan along the near side. Schultz is able to put it back into Hiller's territory, and we'll have a whistle. Well, the way this thing's going, Eric, could be uh, whatever team gets the power play advantage <laughs> getting the first goal. Yeah, I think Bellingham's going to be very happy to escape this period with uh, no goals. The goaltender standing on his head. Certainly impressive play by the sophomore goaltender, Cameron LeHue. So we'll knock that one away. That's going to do it for the first period. After one, it's Bellingham nothing, Hopkinton nothing, but the Hillers certainly with the possession advantage in that first period, out shooting Bellingham 22 to two. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAN. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. We are set for the second period. We are scoreless between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Bellingham Blackhawks. It's Hopkinton Hillers, Boys Bar City Hockey on H Cam. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call. John Ritz, our cameraman. And we are set for face-off to start the second period. Despite the fact we're scoreless, the Hillers certainly dominated possession-wise in the first period and had over 20 shots on goal. On the near side, Amblett. Up behind the net, jammed up along the near side corner. Hiller is working right to left across your screen. Robotail trying to rip that one away. Back to the neutral zone, now quickly coming up the near side, it's Pelletier. Pelletier being boxed out there by Jarrett. And there's a shot, wide to the right. That was Rudolph with the shot. Now along the corner. Here comes Jarrett, up the far side, over to Simos. That was Hamlet, rather. Now to Gilbert. Bellingham trying to put some pressure on. 
Here comes Peltier out in front, turned away. There's Jarrett. Now to Hamlet, and Hamlet was trying to leave it for Walsh. On the near side is Swain. Out in front, turned away as McCann got a shot on it. And then it's secondary shot turned away by Bailey. Well, Bellingham certainly putting some pressure on to start off the second period. Yeah, they had some good luck flipping that puck out and retrieving it. There's Simos, that one a little bit too high. Now Walsh. Walsh with the wrister, and that's turned away out in front. And turned away once again, now jammed up and covered up by LaHue. Quinlan was trying to sneak it in. Well, I'm sure the coaches told Bellingham they're going to have to be a little more aggressive here if they're going to stay in this one, and they certainly came out a little more aggressive. Absolutely. I think they doubled their shot total already. <laughs> Rogers on the faceoff for the Hillers up against Swain. Jammed up in the circle. There's a shot turned away by Bailey. There's Rogers. Got the stick on it. And we're have icing now. Yeah, I think the referee uh, lost track of that one. Actually on net. Well, Cameron LeHue, the sophomore goalie for Bellingham's, been very busy in net. He has turned away over 20 shots. Back to the blue line. There's a one-timer by Saparoshitz out in front, turned away. Jammed up along the far side corner, back towards Saparoshitz. Chasing it down now is Glyden. Glyden trying to turn it around. On the far side, it's Todd. Puts it towards the corner. There's Saparoshitz. Saparoshitz was looking for Rogers. Rogers puts it around the boards. Tracking it down is Kirk. On the far side, Schultz. Here's Kirk looking for a shot here. It's turned away and out of play. Off the ceiling it goes. LeHue got the stick on it. Well, that's got to be about the sixth or seventh blocker save that LeHue has made. The Hillers are trying to pick that corner on him, but he's just really good with that glove. Well, I guess maybe they should not go glove side. <laughs> Have to try the deke move on him. All right. Kirk on the faceoff for the Hillers. Out in front. Backhander. Turned away by a defenseman off the stick of Weinstock. And we'll have the ice here. And again, Hillers just need to try to get the bodies in front. Uh, they're getting enough shots for sure, but they got to have that body in there to either make that tip or get that loose rebound. Dan Kirk up against Chase Rudolph. Here comes Bellingham up the far side, Pelletier. Peltier looking for a shot. And that's off the side of the net, and the goaltender briefly lost it. And they, that nearly got by Bailey. Good recovery by the defense. They had to get that puck out of the crease. Coco takes a hard hit as Bourbon puts it into the corner. Todd able to get to it. Up along the near side, Berman will chase it down. Here comes Kirk. And Kirk up the far side. He's looking for a shot. And he's going to put that off the goaltender, LaHue. Good save once again by LaHue. And he has been Bellingham's hero in this game. Jammed up along the far side. Pelletier trying to poke it out. Here comes Kirk. That one is up towards Jarrett. Or uh, Hamblet, rather. Hamblet tracks it down. Up towards the blue line to Gilbert. Back to Hamblet. Now over to Walsh, out in front, trying to poke it in his Hamlet, and it's turned away by a defenseman. And now Jarrett looking for a shot, there's a wrister. Out in front, and the Bellingham defenders get it done again. Gilbert along the far side. Oh, Blackhawks are just stacking the slot and not letting the Hillers get anything from out front. There's Simos and Hamlet, not able to get to that one in time. Just got away from him. That would have been an easy goal if he got the stick on it. 
Wide opening on the net, on that glove side. Hamblett leaves it out in front, over towards Gilbert who puts it off a Blackhawk. Gilbert tracks it down along the far side boards. Now Simos over to Hamblett. And Walsh briefly lost it. We'll have a whistle. Offsides. Yeah, the rebounds are there, Tom, for the Hillers. They're just not being able to capitalize on them. I said Bellingham is doing a good job of uh, making sure the Hillers aren't pouncing on those. You know, he was always making some great initial saves. A few of those are popping out front. 10-18 left to go in the second period. We remain scoreless between the Hillers and Bellingham. On the near side is Glyden. Puts it towards the far side corner. Now out in front, Quinlan trying to track it down. There's a wrister that goes off of Rogers from Clyden. Miller's trying to steal it back. They've certainly had the control throughout most of the second period so far, but Bellingham has got a couple nice shots off. Clyden up against Schultz. And Bellinger got a stick on it. And Saperoshitz. And that's Stolen away by Bellinger, out in front it goes, no one's there. And off the boards goes Quinlan. Robotil is going to put it around the corner. Saperoshitz gets to it. Bellingham has certainly increased the pressure so far in the second period. And they're looking for another shot here. Good check there by Saperoshitz, knocking Swain down. Saperoshitz trying to turn it around. There's Aiden Walsh, and it's stolen away. Melot got possession, jammed up along the corner. And now out in front, and we're going to have a whistle as that one's that, knocked in the air by Swain. That bounced off there, but the Bellingham's definitely uh, putting the pressure on the Hillers now. The Hillers having trouble getting out of their own end. They so certainly we, are. Got those forwards come down a little bit, and the defenseman can have an outlet. Bellingham was not thrilled by that whistle, but it is certainly necessary as the net came out of place. Walsh up against Swain. Hamlet puts it up towards the Bellingham end. Here comes Simos. The offside. And he'll draw the whistle. The Hill's got to be careful here. They had all three of their forwards almost up to the blue line before the puck was even up past their defensive blue line. Walsh towards Berman. And another whistle here. Offsides, I believe. Eight thirty-six left to go in the second period. Scoreless between the Hillers and Bellingham. Hopkinton has had the majority of possession, but Bellingham has certainly increased the pressure in this second period. They've had some pretty good shots as well. Jammed up along the near side. That one's poked out by Berman. Now to the circle goes Walsh. Walsh was trying to find someone open in the slot. Bellingham certainly doing a great job at not letting the Hillers have any opportunity from in front of the net. There's Walsh. Walsh just speeding by a number of Blackhawks and he'll put it in. The Hillers strike first with 7.59 left in the second period. Wow, that was a beauty of a goal by Sean Walsh. What a great play. He was able to pick that puck up in the neutral zone, swing around fast, and with his speed, just able to outmaneuver all the Bellingham players there and snap it right by the goalie. Got by three or four Blackhawks on that one. one nothing, Hopkinton. Walsh up against Rudolph. Here comes Gilbert. Gilbert racing in, looking for Walsh. Now Robotail there to intercept. Bellingham trying to put some pressure on. John Walsh, he is going to be key for the Hillers this season. We'll see if that goal now opens the floodgates for the Hillers here. 
We don't have stats for the Hillers yet, but I can tell you from the games we've done, Sean Walsh has five goals. And we've done every game so far except the East Longmeadow game. Jammed up along the near side. Jared trying to poke it out. Someone lost their stick. Gilbert tracks it down. Gilbert able to get it out of the defensive end. Now here comes Pelletier. Pelletier will be quickly diverted by Jarrett. Up along the far side now. Bellingham having some trouble in the last few minutes getting it out of their zone. And we'll have a whistle here for the offsides. Face off. In the icing. The icing, rather. Face off in the Bellingham zone. Rogers up against Swain. Quinlan trying to dig it out of the corner. Saparoshitz looking for a one timer there. Up the far side goes Schultz. 6.25 and counting. Here comes McCann. Saparoshitz able to get in front of him. Now Rogers trying to dig it out of the corner. Quinlan. And it's taken back by Bellingham. Saparoshitz. And now it's intercepted, backhander, and it's turned away by Bailey. Nice backhander there by Swain. And there's a shot turned away by Bailey. Another shot that is just wide to the left. Bellingham starting to dig in a little bit here. Josh Todd had a nice shot there on the first attempt. Here comes Aiden Walsh. Aiden Walsh tripped up by Schultz. I think we'll have a delayed penalty here. I think that was hooking. And used his speed trying to go around the outside. He was able to make that move, and Bellingham defender had nothing left to do but put the stick on him. So the Hillers will have their first power play of the game. First power play for either team. And Bellingham definitely doing a better job of being more aggressive from the Hillers' zone, trying to keep them from breaking that puck out. Absolutely. It's been an impressive showing by this Bellingham group. They've certainly improved over the last couple of seasons. And they've essentially had the same group for the last three years as well. Along the corner, and now top of the circle is Gilbert. There's Simos, Rister, and a glove save by LaHue. 145 left on the power play, 524 left in the second period. Hiller is with the man advantage, up one to nothing. Walsh over to Simos. Gilbert got a stick on it. Now top of the circle, Hamblet. Hamblet with the wrister just wide to the right. Tracked down along the far side by Gilbert. Gilbert up towards Hamblet. And now Walsh trying to track it down. Walsh able to get it over towards Hamblet. And now it's Gilbert. There's Simos along the corner. Walsh behind the net. Hamlet out in front, trying to open some space. Now Bellingham on a break. Here comes Rudolph, and it's quickly intercepted by Simos. Steve Simos, I think he's looking for a shot here. Over to the circle. He'll leave it in the slot for Hamlet. Turned away. Defensive play there by Bellingham to break that up. 4.30 and counting left to go in the second period. Up behind the net is Jarrett. Leaves it in front for Walsh. Walsh racing up the ice. He had the first goal. Will he have another one here around the net? He goes out in front. Amblett. And it is turned away, but then put in on the secondary attempt. Well, initial great save by LaHue there, but Hamblett, that's where you got to have those bodies in front for the rebounds. Able to slam that home. Tommy Hamblett getting the job done. 2 0 Hillers. 4 14 left to go in the second. Well, Bellingham has well, left a lot of open opportunities in front of the net. But the Hiller is able to clear some space there and net their second goal of the afternoon. Rogers up against Swain. The 
Tommy Hamblett, he's been a fun player to watch the last uh, season or two. He's definitely got the talent. He's certainly improving. He's going to be key for the Hillers this year. Along the near side, it's Rodgers up against Mellot. Behind the net, Schultz. Now along the near side corner. We'll dig it out with Zayden Walsh. Behind the net, Quinlan will take a hard hit on the boards. Not up the far side, and it's put around the boards by Sheamus. Here's Aiden Walsh. Over to Quinlan behind the net. Quinlan trying to slip it back to Aiden. Along the near side, it's Berman trying to get to it. Quinlan will track it down. Along the corner, backhander out by Swain. Hillers. Continuing to control possession. And Rogers trying to turn it around there. Over to the top of the left circle. That one is turned away by LaHue from the stick of Sheamus. Defenseman, I think, set across, got a nice block there. The Hill is definitely moving the puck a lot quicker now. Keeping yeah, I think, more opportunities. I think they picked up the pace a little bit, especially when Bellingham started putting the pressure on. I think they realized, oh, we got to actually score a goal. They've scored two goals in this second period and lead Bellingham two to nothing. Back towards Gliden. Now Kirk tracks it down along the near side. Kirk trying to sneak it out. And trying to sneak it in there was Gilbert. Racing up the far side is Eldridge. Back to the neutral zone, here comes Adams. And it's tracked down by Gliden. Gliden takes a hard hit into the board. Along the far side, Weinstock. And it's turned away by LaHue. Well, despite the fact that the Hillers have two goals, Cameron LaHue has been excellent for Bellingham in net. It's just been a whole lot of pressure by the Hillers. Here's Kirk. Kirk over towards Glyden. Glyden is trying to put it around Adams. Adams intercepts, and he's on a break. Saperoschitz will meet up with Adams and turn it away. Partner saved him there. That was good speed by Saperoschitz getting to Adams. Here comes Kirk. Over towards Weinstock. Saperoschitz putting it towards the near side. 40 and counting left to go in the second period. Rudolph will knock it up and that'll be wrapped up by Bailey. Yeah, you gotta be real careful. You're in the blue line and nobody behind you. The defenseman got to try to get that puck into the corner if you got somebody standing in front of you. Face off along the near side. It's Walsh up against Rudolph. Here comes Jarrett up towards Hamblet. Hamblet was. Trying to get it towards Walsh. Now here's Walsh. Walsh quickly diverted by Pelletier. Pelletier and Walsh jammed up. On the back of the net, Hamlet. Along the corner, Walsh. Trying to turn it around. Over towards Gilbert. There's a shot. And that's wrapped up nice by LaHue. Hamlet with a real smart play there. He came out of the corner and sorry he didn't have the defenseman, so he just cycled it back, and the Hill was able to maintain possession and get a great shot, another opportunity there. Less than a minute left to go in the second period. Clock stopped at 57.4. John Walsh up against Swain. There's a shot turned away by LaHue off the stick of Gilbert. And a play it goes. Still getting a good view there. If he's got the view of him, he's able to stop it. Walsh on the face off, top of the circle, and that is a glove save by LaHue. Off the stick of Hamblet. Good shot there by Hamblet. Hillers with 30 shots on goal, according to the scoreboard. Of a 
Whistle on the far side. And, uh, Someone was sneaking into the zone there for Bellingham, the face-off circle. Before the puck was dropped. Hamlet able to dig it out, looking for Walsh. Up along the near side, Gilbert. Approaching 30 seconds left in the second period. Tracked down by Rudolph. Into the high slot, and it's intercepted by Robitiel as Hamlet was looking for a shot. Yeah, they got to shoot that puck there. Got to make one extra move. Gilbert wrists it up the ice. Here comes Walsh. Walsh racing up the far side around a couple Blackhawks out in front, and there's another goal. Tommy Hamlet with his second goal of the afternoon makes it three to nothing. Sean Walsh with a great move with that speed again around the defenseman and put it right out front, right where Hamlet was waiting. Another point for Walsh and another goal for Hamlet. 9.5 seconds left in the second. And the Hillers starting to pour it on. 3-0 Hopkinton. Will Quinlan and up against Chase Rudolph. Or excuse me, Kyle Rogers. Here comes Quinlan. Out in front once again. And that'll do it for the second period. An impressive showing by the Hillers who rack up three goals in the second period. And as we head to the final 15 minutes of regulation, it's the Hillers three, Bellingham nothing. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HK. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Kai. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H Camp. Hey, I watch the game. Uh, camp. We love, love H, -Camp. H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp, H -Camp TV. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, the home of the Hopkinton Hillers. We are set for the third period between the Bellingham Blackhawks and the Hopkinton Hillers. It's a 3-0 Hillers lead as we head into the final 15 minutes of regulation. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Cardi on the call. John Ritz on camera. The Hillers 2-1 and one on this season looking for their third win. Bellingham 1-1-2 one, one and two coming into this game. Hillers had a terrific second period. And now, here comes Walsh out in front. And did that get through? No. He's able to land on it. It was briefly between his legs, and Layu just kind of sat on the puck. Wet ice helped there, too. Slow it down a little bit going through the crease. But Hugh said, well, I can't get to it. I'm just going to sit down. To recap the second period, Sean Walsh had a goal with 7.59 left, Tommy Hamblett with 4.14 left, and Hamblett with another one off of a nice assist by Walsh with 9.5 seconds left. And those are the three goals that have been scored in the entirety of this game. All second period goals for the Hillers who have a 3 nothing lead. Over to Simos along the right circle. And now out in front, and that was Hamblett trying to poke it in once again. Nearly a goal there. I think Walsh was looking for a whistle. He lost his stick. He's going to come out of the game, and Rogers will come in. Stick jammed up along the corner with the puck, and it's put out by Hamlet. A couple of nice glove saves there by LaHue. Keep that score at three. Got icing here, and we'll have a face off in the Bellingham zone. So for the Hill is time, I think here this period they just got to keep playing aggressively. They want to make sure they're getting good breakouts out of their zone, not trying to uh, look for that home run pass and have Bellingham intercept it, and they'll just do fine. I think in this period you're going to see everybody get a taste of the action for the Hillers. McCann around the net. Over to the left circle is Walsh, Aiden Walsh, and now Quinlan along the corner. Here comes Bellingham racing up the far side, Maylott. Put that one wide right. Saparoshitz turns it 
towards Aiden Walsh. And now racing up is Rogers. Robotill able to knock it back towards the neutral zone. Picked up by Quinlan. Intercepted there by Melot. Saperosius able to poke it out towards Rogers. Saperosius. We'll put it up the near side. Hillers will have a line change. Two minutes into this third period. Hillers with a 3-0 lead. Up along the near side, that's Sheamus. And he was looking for somebody out in front. No one there. Up the far side, there goes Berman. Toko is tripped up. He's back to his skates. And he's jammed up along the far side boards. Kirk was able to poke it out, but now Bellingham has possession. Here comes Rudolph. That one quickly intercepted by Sheamus. And now Kirk. Nice move there by Kirk. Looking for a shot here. There's a wrister, and it's turned away and out of play. Good stick work by the junior, Dan Kirk. Quite a save by LaHue as well. Yeah, another nice save there. If you get that thing a little bit lower, he had uh, his uh, line mate streaking down the side there. He tried to look to get that thing down low for a rebound. Walsh up against Rudolph. Samos, we'll turn it up the near side boys, Jarrett. And Walsh along the corner. Poked out by Todd. Simos back to the top of the circle of Gilbert. Walsh. Amblett trying to poke it out. Bellingham trying to establish some sort of attack here. Gilbert will track it down back ice. Gilbert meets up with Larkin. No one intercepted by McCann for Bellingham. 11.45 and counting left to go in the third period. Bellingham looking for a shot here. It's taken away by Jarrett. And here comes Hopkinton. Quick up the far side is Simos, and then it's poked in by Walsh. A beauty of an assist by the captain, Steve Simos, and Walsh just able to poke it in. Great play, great play. Steve Simos is streaking down the side there with that speed, and Walsh with his speed down the middle, able just to get the stick on that and redirect it. 4-0 Hopkinton. 11.31 left to go. Sean Walsh with his second goal of the afternoon. Can he get another hat trick like he had against Ashley? There's Tyler Morse who just hopped into the game. Up the far side, Morse. Skating around a couple of defenders. Jammed up along the corner now. And it's taken away by Adams. Here comes Eldridge. There to intercept Saperoshitz. Saperoshitz racing forward. Intercepted by McCann. Along the near side, Gladden. Back to the Hiller zone. Saperoshitz picks it up in the corner. Now over to the far side to McAuliffe. Tom McAuliffe got a good amount of playing time in that midfield game. Here comes Morse. And Robitaille able to get his stick in there. Morse with possession, and it's intercepted by Eldridge. Back in the net, Connors. Over to McAuliffe. And intercepted by Pelletier. A little stick there by Connors. Rogers is gonna go. And here comes Pelletier. Connors. Yeah, I think Connors is gonna get called for that one. And there's the whistle. It looks like uh, Jake Connors, the sophomore, is going to head to the box. So they'll put Bellingham on the power play. Hooking is the call. 35 shots on goal for the Hillers. According to the scoreboard, five, it says five for Bellingham, but I think they have more than that. I think they have at least eight or nine. Simos up against Rudolph. 
Jammed up along the corner, Samuelson Rudolph. Samuels takes a hard hit there. Very easily could have been a charge. It certainly could have. I'm surprised there wasn't a whistle there. Bailey wraps it up. Samuels is a little shooken up, I think. It was really a hard hit he took. And do we have someone heading to the box? I, I think that should have been a call there, Eric. Yeah, that was, was, not only was it a high hit, but it was definitely a charge. Cheap shot. And Samos is gonna come out of the game. Seems to be okay, just a little uh, banged up there. Walsh will have a face off up against Rudolph. 148 left to go on the Bellingham power play. And now we have an official's stoppage. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> the official, uh, I'm not sure what he's doing. I'm trying to look up somebody on the roster, it looks like. I think um, the Hillers coach was arguing for an illegal hit. Must be a problem with the numbers, someone not on the score sheet. Well, I believe everyone in the game right now is okay. Unless Jake Connors, he's on the roster. Yeah, I'm, he must not have made it onto the game sheet. <laughs> All right, so we'll update the game sheet. This game sheet game break is brought to you by HCAM News. You can watch it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. 10 p.m. Tom Nappy on the broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they got that all squared away. 9.58 left to go in the third period. Hiller's up four to nothing. Bellingham is on a power play. They have a minute 48 left on it. And now it looks like maybe a two-man advantage. I think the game sheet violation is it's going to be the other penalty on the Hiller, so Rogers is going to sit in the box. So it's a two-man advantage now for Bellingham. Well, if there looks was like ever a chance to score. Yeah, it looks like the Hiller is going to take a timeout here and <coughs> get the defense set. All right, so we'll have a timeout on the ice. 9.58 left to go. It's the Hillers leading Bellingham 4 to nothing on H Cam. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Off the timeout, 9.58 left to go in regulation. Hiller's up four to nothing. Bellingham's gonna have a two-man advantage. Score sheet violation on the Hillers. We'll put Rogers in the box. So it's a two-man advantage for the next minute, 45 and counting. And then after, it'll be a one-man advantage for about 20 more seconds. Up the far side, Robotil. Over towards Schultz, and Schultz looking for the shot out in front, and that one is covered up by Bailey. Rudolph was trying to slip it in the five hole. Hillers just want to play a smart triangle here, try to keep that puck to the outside. Face off between Walsh and Rudolph. Nice play there. Nice job by the Hillers clearing it away. Yeah, Walsh able to get a stick on that one and send it down. Bellingham with a two man advantage for the next minute, 19 and counting. Up the near side, Robotil. Out in front, and it just gets away from McCann. Good stick lift there. Was a nice job by Gilbert, keeping McCann at bay. And back towards Schultz, now over to the circle. There's a shot, and turned away by Gilbert. Around the net, Rudolph. Out towards Schultz. And if you're Bellingham, you really just gotta shoot the puck. Here's Walsh racing up the ice. Walsh coming in quick, around the goalie and in! Bellingham may have the two-man advantage, but Sean Walsh doesn't care. He has the hat trick. Five-nothing Hillers. Great work there, nice short-handed goal. Despite the fact that he was hooked and almost held there, he still managed to get the breakaway and put it in the net. I think he could have had 50 guys in front of Walsh there and still would have got by. 
55 seconds left on the power play for Bellingham. 43 on the two-man advantage. On the far side, Gilbert. Well, it was five on three in favor of Bellingham, but the Hillers score a goal anyway. And that one is turned away by Simos. Up the near side it goes. Well, the Hillers certainly uh, look a lot better on the power play today than they did against Medfield. Here comes Todd. Up the near side, it's Rudolph. Top of the right circle, Rister is turned away. Can on the attempt, Gilbert with a nice defensive play. Bellingham looking for a shot here, high slot. That one's turned away by Jarrett off the stick of Todd. Another good defensive play. Hiller's defenseman making the job of Gray Bailey a little bit easier. They're doing a good job defensively just breaking up the Bellingham plays before they can get the shot off. Five seconds left on the one-man advantage. Two-man advantage has expired. 8.02 left in regulation. Hiller's up five to nothing. Impressive showing here today. On the far side, Glyden. Back to the neutral zone. Here's Todd. Hiller's get one man back. On front. Both out. Yep. We're at full strength now. Here comes Rogers closing in quickly and LaHue able to knock it away. Bit of a risk uh, by LaHue there coming way out of the net like that. Around the net is McCann. Well, I'll tell you, I mean, the Hillers certainly uh, the better team here today. And, well, overall, but Bellingham certainly improved since last season. Quinlan trying to dig it out. There's a hard hit delivered by Walsh on Todd. 7-12 and counting, left to go. Up along the far side, Quinlan over to the left circle towards Rogers. He's gliding along the near side. So we'll have to find out what the Hillers record is for hat tricks in a season, Eric. <laughs> I mean, already two in the first four games for Sean Walsh. On the far side now, tracking it down, back ice is Abernathy. Ben Abernathy Jr., defenseman. There's Rogers coming up. Quick, Rogers into the circle and looking for someone in the slot. No one was there. Toko trying to get to it. And now it's dug out by Weinstock. He was looking for a shot there, but missed. Kirk. Couple. Blackhawks are going to interfere with Kirk, trying to get the shot off. Up around the boards it goes. Weinstock puts it up towards Kirk. Now racing up the far side, Schultz. Here comes Schultz. Schultz around one hiller. There's a shot and a beauty of a save by Bailey. Showing some good speed there to get around the outside. But didn't really have much of an angle there. Well, it's been uh, some great goaltending today by Gray Bailey. He's had a few very good saves. Bruce Griffiths along the near side, puts it over towards McCollum. Pillars emptying out the bench for the last six minutes or so. Griffiths lost his stick briefly, but able to put it up the near side. And there's a beauty of a shot by Schultz just wide to the right. A good tip there by Larkin for Bellingham. Just went wide. Bellingham trying to break the shutout. We're going to have a whistle here. A dangerous play there, a cross check on the back from Bellingham. Hillers will have the man advantage. Ethan Larkin heads of the box. Five seventeen left to go. Hiller's leading Bellingham five to nothing. Hopkinton on their way to improving to three and one on the season. Yeah, just want to make sure they maintain their composure here in the last five minutes. Don't get caught up in any rough play. Right, it's going to cost them. Yeah, it's been a relatively uh, 
calm game. I certainly think Bellingham's shown their frustrations a little bit here in these last couple of minutes. Walsh over to Gilbert. Hamlet puts it, or that was Simos rather, puts it back towards Gilbert. And there's a wrister, and that's covered up. Shot by Hamlet. That was right the first time. 19 and 15 always gets me. <laughs> Got the shirts tucked in on the back. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Top of the circle, Gilbert. Nice puck distribution there, and a shot by Walsh looking for his fourth goal. Over to Gilbert. Back to Walsh. Walsh leaves it out in front, and Simo's trying to dig it in. Turned away by LeHue. Good puck moment, another great save. LeHue's had some incredible saves today. Well, I think with the amount of pressure the Hillers were able to put on Bellingham, you can't really blame LeHue for the fact that the Hillers have five goals. I think there was a one or two goals that might have been pretty soft, but it was three very impressive ones that were, would have been tough for any goaltender to save. Yeah, it was the same story last year, and the Hopkins had a, a decisive victory, but uh, well, I think we remember mentioning his name a lot last year, too, in net. I believe you're right. There's Walsh. He's only a sophomore. Walsh racing up the far side. And there's a shot by Hamlet turned away. Well, he'll certainly get his experience yep. throughout the season. And that cross check from behind was a, a double minor, so the hill is an extended power play. Sheamus up the far side. Now they're going to be on the power play pretty much throughout the remainder of this game, minus the last 16 seconds. 3.33 and counting left to go. Hillers five, Bellingham nothing. Here comes Simos racing. And he's going to just put that a little bit wide. I believe actually Hugh might have got his stick on it. That was a nice shot by Simos. Yeah, good move. A little erased by a couple of Blackhawks. Famous puts it up the near side boards. Over to Robotail. There's Pelletier. Pelletier looking for a shot here. And he's going to put it in. Nice shot by Pelletier. Well, he had the wide open opportunity and he took advantage. And with 3.01 left, Bellingham breaks the shutout. And hanging up by the blue line. And they, Bellingham had the luxury of being able to throw that puck out because it wasn't going to be icing and being short-handed. Well, Bellingham was uh, short of man there as well. They were able to get a goal. Guess a little uh, revenge for when the Hillers were short two men and got a goal. Here comes Walsh. Jammed up along the corner. Quinlan, top of the left circle. There, great shot by Gilbert, turned away by LeHue. Quinlan up behind the net. Out in front, Gilbert tracks down along the far side. Over towards Quinlan. Quinlan back to Gilbert. Shot by Gilbert. That one was nearly in. Gilbert puts it around the boards. There's Jarrett, back towards Gilbert. Gilbert, another shot there. Jarrett gets to it in the corner. He's gonna feed Gilbert. Gilbert with another shot turn away. Gilbert's really just trying to get a goal today. He's had some great shots. He's had a very good game. Yeah, it's gonna come. Jarrett's gonna meet up with Todd. Up the near side it goes, under two minutes left to play. 150 in counting. Hillers up five to one. Good effort today by the Hopkinton Hillers. A solid win against a very much improved Bellingham team. Here's Steve Simos. And Simos was looking to feed Hamlet. Just bounced there in front. Back towards Sheamus it goes. Sheamus puts it towards the far side corner. Tracked down by Todd. Sheamus. Simos just lost his footing there. We'll get back up and knock it against the boards. There's a shot by Simos, now in the corner, Hamlet. Over to Walsh. Walsh up to Sheamus. Hiller's pretty much just playing keep away right now. Minute left to go. 
Well, on the far side, looking for a shot here. And that was uh, Hamblet trying to feed Samos. Good defensive play there by Bellingham. That would have been another goal. 45 seconds and counting until the Hillers improved a three and one. Up along the far side, Simos. Intercepted by Schultz. McCann. McCann keeps possession. Flicks it up the ice. That one is off of uh, the goaltender, Bailey. Out in front, and Bailey will have to cover it up. Clock will stop at 15.8 seconds left to go. Well, next up for the Hillers will be in the Daily News Tournament, taking on Marlboro next Wednesday night. And then uh, team and time to be determined on next Saturday. As for Bellingham, they will be taking on Tri-County Wednesday night. That shot is turned away, and we'll have another whistle. I believe offsides was the call there. And it went, up, went out of play and find the net. Ah. These sh short glass, a lot of stoppages. Yeah, we'll have that all season long, I'm sure. There's Gilbert. But I think we're certainly happy not to have a net in front of us. <laughs> We'll take that as a trade-off. Absolutely. And that's going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers pull off the 5-1 win over the Bellingham Blackhawks. Eric, an impressive performance today by the Hillers. Yep, the offense once again is uh, red hot, you know, led by Walsh. Uh, they, the Hillers just have the speed and the puck movement. And with all kinds of shots on net, uh, I'm surprised the uh, Bellingham Black, Blackhawks thinks their goalie will only keep the score of what it was. Yeah, it was a great goaltending by Cameron LeHue, and he kept this game within reach throughout the majority of it. But the Hopkinton Hillers, just too much to handle for Bellingham, and they get an impressive TVL win here today. Hopkinton now 3-1 and one on the season. Bellingham falls to 1-2-2. Two, and two. The Final score for the final time, the Hillers defeat Bellingham 5-1. to one. For John Ritz on camera, our broadcast partner Eric Carty, I'm Tom Nappy. Thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys City Hockey on HCAM. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.